face is not worthy of the strain of your eyes to look at it. My ears are not worth the effort of. Um, my voice is not worthy of the effort of your ears to listen to it. It breaks my heart that it's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I don't know what the white people are doing in this show. I don't even know what the Asian people are doing. All I know is that I come up with all this racist shit, and when minorities get mad, I'm like, go to hell, you unfashionably angry minorities. This is my sophisticated critique of racism that you are too stupid to understand. <laughs> but the truth is, if you're a minority and you do super racist stuff against yourself, then the white people are like, oh, you are a cool minority. And they treat you like one of them. I want to be white. Or if you can tell yung, in, in your from your perspective, yung story nung gabi na yun, nung na kung ano yung nangyari, yung, kung ano yung nakita nyo nung gabi na namatay si Jennifer. Nagpunta na kami ng ambience. Mm -mm. Then, nag-start na yun. We met, we met three times guy. Uh, magkakaibang lalaki. Napunta ako sa Friends of Pemberton. Mm -hmm. So, so kailan kayo naghiwalay? Yung... Mm -hmm. Yung last na, yung nasa cell zone na sila, tapos kami naman sa kabilang hotel. So kailan yun nalaman na ganun ang nangyari? Uh, tapos na kami, uh, nagpapahinga na kami sa convenience store, umiinom na kami ng drinks. Tapos kinokontak na namin nun yung dalawa, si Barbie tsaka si Jennifer. And wala naman sumasagot, both phone. Then naglakad na kami, yung paglakad namin pabalik sana kami ng ambience malapit na dun sa cell zone. Tinawag kami ni Barbie, yun nga, something... Something mm -hmm. happened daw na hinimatay or patay. Right? Trauma. Natrauma kami doon sa nangyari. Isang transgender ang natagpo ang patay kagabi sa Olonga Poseti. Isang dayuhan ang hinihinalang sospek sa pagpaslang. Fuck your whiteness. Fuck your beauty. Fuck your chest hair. Fuck your beard. Fuck your privilege. Fuck that you aren't made to feel shame always. Fuck your thinness. Fuck your muscles. Fuck your attractive fatness. Fuck your shaming me for nothing. Fuck your accusations that I produce shame. Fuck your reading me as a character. Fuck your destruction of my personhood. Fuck your marginalization of my identity. Fuck your judging me for self-care. Fuck your ability to be assertive. Fuck your lack of socialization to be a submissive. Fuck your asking me to produce safety for you and not myself. Fuck the amount of effort I exert to get less than enough consideration. Fuck that the amount of space I take up in the world is constantly questioned. Fuck that people think I'm a slut. Fuck that you can demand attention. Fuck that I am willing to give you what I can't have. Fuck that your values and your actions never match up when it comes to me. Fuck that I can't expect anything from anyone. Fuck that the amount of work I put into the beauty of my intellect and my talent is still never enough. Amen. <laughs> I'm gonna make a piece for Playboy with it. To live in America is to live in a constant state of illusion, is to be 30 people underground on a train, unable to hold one another and weep, is to sit there in silence until we can just keep on moving and forget how much death is required in the soil to birth such beautiful denial. And I want to text the boy above ground and ask, have you ever been to a funeral with complete strangers? 
but instead I look at the woman next to me, the one who told a dead man to die more considerately, and then I remember that to live in America is already to attend a funeral with complete strangers. How many ghosts does it take before a cemetery can call itself a country? To live in America is to blame the dead for their own death, not the country for creating the conditions that already killed them before they caught up and made things more clear for the rest of us. Blessed are the sissies. Blessed are the boy dykes. Blessed are the people of color, my beloved kith and kin. Blessed are the trans. Blessed are the high fans. Blessed are the sex workers. Blessed are the authentic. Blessed are the gender illusionists. Blessed are the non-normative. Blessed are the genderqueers. Blessed are the kinksters. Blessed are the disabled. Blessed are the hot fat girls. Blessed are the weirdo queers. Blessed is the spectrum. Blessed is consent. Blessed is respect. Blessed are the beloved I didn't describe. I couldn't describe, I will learn to describe, respect and love, amen. Dahil isinasabuhay sa pagkamatay ni Jennifer kung gaano kasidhi ang diskriminasyon laban sa mga transgender dahil sa kanilang kasarian. The accused admits the infliction of the injury and the burden of the evidence consequently shifts to him. Nagiging sa kami sa inyong lahat, sa ating pagkilos ngayong araw at pinapasalamatan ko kayo. Lumalaban din kami sa kapitalismo, dinalamanan din namin ang rasismo, ang seksismo at ang militarismo. Dahil ang laban para sa karapatang pagtaon ng mga taong transgender ay laban para sa hustisya ang panlipunan. Legion mother, I stay ripping for my people who ain't got the voice. There ain't no other. Yeah, I got a lot of pride and I wanna share it. All my slaves, make some noise. Everybody wanna be like us, wanna look like us, what? wanna dress like us, what? want success like us, what? want tech like us, want the hair and the food, have some babies by us. <laughs> I, I can't blame them, cause I fucking love being Asian. One super saiyan, then I turn into a slave. Okay. Trying to rid the world of cultural appropriation. You don't agree? Huh? So what you say? If it ain't foreign, they're foreign. Hitting them, so she's Ice grilling, George Foreman. If it ain't foreign, then born. Ay, if it ain't foreign, then born.